Hello everyone, my name is PJ Pascual, a professional photographer for the past 15 years now and today we are shooting another drag queen. It's officially drag race season and we're shooting Eva La Queen today for her global all-stars competition. So, sobrang excited ako to shoot all her looks for episode 1. So, let's go! Hello! Hello! Kamusta? Finally! Mwah. Nangyari na siya. Oo nga. After many, many delays. I know. Finally, <laughs> it's gonna happen. Global. I know! Congrats! Thank you. Oh my God. So, ito yung first look mo. Doon. Yes. I lost weight. Oh, tignan mo na. Dito na siya sa baba. Para wow! Na Congrats! Ito yung ass. <laughs> In Global All-Stars, mm -hmm. hindi nila nakita yung full look eh. Uh Oo. -oh. I wasn't able to bring everything. Cause like, tignan mo siya. This. Ang bigot niya. Ito pa lang parang, ano na, parang mga nasa 5-7 kilos na. Oh, oh, ito. Oh. <laughs> parang ano na siya. <laughs> <laughs> this was done by okay. Axel ko eh. It's like, sabi ko, ang sweet lang. Sabi niya, okay. Ay. Oo, sabi niya, hindi masyado mabigat. Hindi naman masyado. Ito, pakasama pa tong skirt na to. Ay, no, ito hindi mo na nasuot doon, well, diba? <laughs> hindi ko na sila nasuot lahat. But at least, we're wearing it for music. Correct. So, and oh para iibahin lang natin today yung look. Yes. Mm -hmm. Initially, it's more like um, an homage to Maria Clara. Mm -hmm. But since we're doing this, um, we're, we <laughs> wanted to do a more editorial take. Yes. Yeah. So, ni remix lang namin ng very, very light. Yeah, from mm -hmm. Maria Clara to Colonizer. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Clara. <Nolich. laughs> Pero it's still editorial. Like the Correct. cocoa, uh -oh. the pearls. It's and then the big ball god. It's amazing. I love it. Exciting. Osha, let's go. Yes, please na. We have, of course, a pambato natin sa Global All Stars, si Miss Eva La Queen. Hello, hello, DJ. Thank you for having me for amusing. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you for being here and for the patience. Oh my God, this is a dream come true, Grabe. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so for the viewers, kasi na realize ko lang, pag nagpo ako ng drag content, may mga tatano, kasi hindi pala nga pala lahat ng viewers ng vlog into the drag scene. So, just a background. Si Eva was part of Drag Race Philippines Season 1. Yes. Part of the finale. Top of 3. Yeah! I'm a power top. <laughs> <laughs> And now, she is representing the Philippines for Global All-Stars. Wow, yes. sobrang major. My God. It is. It actually two, three years since mm -hmm. Drag Race Philippines Season 1. Mm -hmm. Since it came out, talaga, parang everybody wants a piece of drag. Ngayon, mas kilala na siya than how it used to be. Yeah, for sure. I think yun yung gateway para maging mainstream yung drag. Toto. Sa Philippines. Kasi ngayon, parang ang dami na kahit mga lola. Sa kahit... mga drag brunch. Correct. Oh my goodness. At saka yung mga madam ngayon na mga, uh -huh. mga birthday party nila, drag queens na yung nagpo-perform. Yes, yes. So, we have to thank the Season 1 queens talaga. What's new since Drag Race Season 1? Since Drag Race Philippines Season 1, Madami talaga nagbago. A lot of opportunities has opened. So I've been invited to places now. I was never invited before. I was able to do a TED Talk. Karamihan ng events ko this Pride Month are speaking engagements. And I love speaking. I love to talk. Hindi na kami na confined na sa bar lang. So now, we create our own shows. Kaka-sold out ako ng Music Museum. Nang drag show. Yes, and just to inform everyone, si La Eva, meron silang company called Playhouse, di ba? Yes. And they produce their own shows. 
Yeah. Saka so, panood na ako niyan sa Alabang. Oh my god, back in the south. <laughs> Sobrang saya as in guys, kung, kung kung meron silang event, you really should watch. Kasi ako first time lang. Yes. Kasi usually we get to experience drag shows Correct. clubs, 'di ba? But they really uh, mount their own shows sa mga venues and I attended Drag in the South. Aha. Uh-huh. Grabe, sobrang riot. Sobrang saya as in puwasa ako doon inaantok na ako. Correct. Paglabas ko talaga, sabi ko, oh my god, ako saya as in, in ang galing nila. Yes, to sum it all up, I think yun yung nagbago. Since Drag Race Philippines aired, drag queens now have full control of where they want to take their career. We finally have options on where else we want to perform and share our drag. Hindi na kailangan magpuyat ng mga bakla hanggang alauna. Hanggang alas 4 minsan. Alas 4 para lamang kita ng drag queen. We do drag brunches, we have drag bingo. We, we travel all the way to the south, we've been to places and Eh nga nakakatuwa. Recently we did a pop-up event sa Pop-up Katipunan, 10,000 attendees. And then now we're here. So parang we've entered a new era. Talagang it's a cultural reset. So nice. Build up your head ng konti. Ricardo, pasok! Ay, sa kabila yung face mo yan. Okay, what to? Ay, natos. Little less. Okay, so tell us about the second look we shot. Yung puno. It was so stunning, my God. If you see it in real life, grabe, sobrang ganda. Alam mo, dapat i-exhibit natin yun. The airtime on TV doesn't give it justice. Mm-hmm. The look that I was wearing was the runway for the first episode. The, the category is Garden of Eden. So I decided to be the tree of life that looks like a snake. <laughs> Feeling ko kasi magkasabot yung tree of life tsaka yung snake. Probably in a twisted Genesis story in my head. It's like the tree is the snake and the snake is the snake. So it's ano naman talaga in, in real life. Like there's good in the bad, there's bad in the good. The vision was by me and Eran Montoya and with the help of Ryuji. Grabe yun. I wish I could make a documentary of of that look. Because even the fiber itself, the, the very fabric itself, it had to be sourced somewhere in Naga. The abaka. Yeah, mukha talaga siyang i- na- natural fabric. Diba? I-weave pa siya. It, it's actually this in a mm. different color, no? Mm-hmm. Ito pala siya yung tinutukoy ko, no? When I say that drag is art, that's really mm. art. Mocking art, no? And I was so proud to wear it at the first runway. How does it feel to be judged by RuPaul? Mismo si RuPaul, because I haven't even met RuPaul. Oh. <laughs> For me, kasi very spiritual yung meeting ko kay RuPaul. Eh. <laughs> because imagine, gan siya kalayo, is it? and then parang he's on the other side of the world. Pero he has changed my life so, 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 so much. I had a shot at the life of my dreams because of this person sitting right next to me. Alam mo, masab ka sa yon. RuPaul cares so much about us while we were filming. Imagine like um, she would ask us if are you okay with your heels? Then yeah, tapos minamadali niya yung mga tao pag may mabagal kasi she understands that we are in pain, we are in pain. Sa so UK versus the world. Mm-hmm. Ang question ko, na pressure ka ba after Marina? Tano niya ba kana pressure siya? <laughs> And then, actually, that's a very common question, especially when I'm doing press. Because, like, Marina's run in UK versus the world is so I mean, iconic. It's like 
she really set the bar so effing high, mm -hmm. you know. And yes, I'd be lying if I said that he'd say that he didn't have pressure. Yeah, and after this very moment, I still feel the pressure, you know. And I could not even imagine myself living her life because that is her destiny. Mm -hmm. My supreme destiny is different. Although, medyo magkamukha talaga kami, magkahulma kami. Thanks to Lift Aesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> For our uh, <laughs> global and international ready faces. So, what's next for Eva La Queen? Well, I think <laughs> bigger things are happening, of course. This is just the beginning, again, of the rest of my life. So, bigger things are gonna happen. Asian drag excellence, I think. The world's eyes are already here. We're gonna get bigger projects, uh, bigger shows. So, don't forget to follow all my socials para masundan nyo yun. Follow me, um, Eva La Queen, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, everywhere. And also, the Playhouse for the most exciting and the biggest and most attended and most drag drag shows ever. So, yes. Thank you so much. Thanks, Eva. Grabe. Ang saya. Sana happy ka sa mga photos today. Oh my God, ang ganda. No, last time na kinuhanan mo ko, dar na ako. Ang pangit ko pa. Oh my God. Sa tingin kinuhanan mo ko, noong season one, ang pangit ko. Oh my God. At saka yung nude illusion. Yung nude illusion. Sobrang tagal ko nag-antay. Tumaba na lang yung bigote ko. Oh my God. At least may picture na akong maganda from BJ. Oo. Nakapaghanda talaga. Yes. Yes. So that's it for today's episode. Comment na kayo kung anong favorite yung sa mga ginawa namin today. See you guys next time. You take care, ha!